all fine but if you're not fine don't worry don't stress yourself over something that you cannot handle just give all to god and everything is going to be fine keep praying keep trusting in him welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back thank you for your support i appreciate much but if you're new here i want to ask you something please subscribe to my channel and when you subscribe make sure you hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video today's video guys is going to be a makeup video as you can see i don't have anything on my face it's because i'm going to be sharing with you how to apply foundation for beginners step by step but if you already know how to apply foundation on your face don't go away because you will learn one or two things out of this video so watch it till the end and let us get into the video number one thing you need to do before you apply foundation to your face is to prime your face never apply foundation without priming your face because that is the most important thing in doing makeup so prime your face but when priming your face apply the face primer that is of your skin type if you are of a dry skin make sure you apply a moisturizing face primer if you have oily skin then apply a primer that is of your skin type which doesn't make you look so oily so this is my face primer it is from Shiseido. i don't know if i pronounce it well and I'm going to be applying it. As you can see, it's a bit oily because I have a combinated skin. Sometimes it gets so dry, especially now that it is in winter. Oh my God. It gets so dry, so I make sure I moisturize it. I use a face primer that moisturizes my face okay so I've moisturized my face the second step is to cover the dark spots with the concealer so I want to come close so you can see I have some dark spots dark spots so we need to cover all those dark spots our second step and let's get into action my concealer from kiko milano This is a bath mark, guys. <laughs> I have something black here, but it's a bath mark. So I'm trying to cover it. But when you are covering your dark spots, uh, don't use... Um, when you're covering your dark spots, don't use a concealer for highlighting, no. You use a concealer that is almost your skin color. It is not a highlighting concealer. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. As you can see, this concealer here, it's not for highlighting at all. It is only for covering the dark spots. Okay. So I'm going to be I'm going to be blending <laughs> using my fingers. So I have finished covering my dark spots. Our third step is doing the eyebrows. But I won't show you the whole process of doing the eyebrows because I already have the video here on my channel of how I do my eyebrows. So I'll just do it so quick. Step 
number four is to apply foundation. When choosing foundation, choose the foundation of your skin undertone. We have warm undertones, we have cooler undertones, and we have neutral undertones. So find out which one is your skin undertone so that you can get the perfect match for your skin. This is really important because if you apply a foundation that is not of your skin undertone, then you will look ashy, you will look boring, you will look tired because it's not the foundation of your skin undertone. So make sure you find out so that you can look radiant. You can look like you have life in yourself because a foundation of your skin undertone brings life to your face, brings some kind of light to your face. So let us get to the application of the foundation. I want to give you another hack. Never apply foundation straight to the brush like this. No, never do that. Because if you apply the foundation straight to the brush, it means you might apply much and then it becomes hard to handle. So put your foundation on your hand like this, some few pumps just like this, and then take a little amount of foundation and apply it to your face. Don't take too much foundation to the brush or to the sponge, whatever you are using, and then apply it to the face. If you do much or if you apply much, again, it will be very difficult to blend the foundation unless you are a professional, unless you are a makeup artist because makeup artists can apply a lot of foundation on the face and again blend it so well but because you're starting <laughs> you need to be really careful take a small amount apply it to the face and if you want to add more you can add there is no problem but if you add much it will be a very big problem so i'm starting So I'll continue adding as I go. You add few, 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 and then go few, just like that. And make sure you apply the whole face to the corners of your head. this side because sometimes there is especially women of color <laughs> some black areas here so cover it again with the foundation because we want everything to look uniform never forget your neck your ears <sighs> Don't be scared the foundation to go to the hair area. It's okay, you can fix that later than having a foundation that ends here, <laughs> you know. <laughs> blend, 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 blend. So guys, I'm using Fenty Beauty um, foundation <laughs> it's a hydrating foundation the hydrating one not the matte one like I said I have a combina a combinated skin so I want something hydrating not matte one <laughs> so I've finished blending the foundation but we are not done yet so keep on watching <laughs> Now we are going to leave the foundation to sit on the skin for some time so that when we apply the powder, it looks so flawless. So let us do the eye area.
So my eye area is done, as simple as this. I have applied this red lipstick because it's festive season now. <laughs> Do you like it, guys? <laughs> so the time we've been waiting for, for applying face powder is now. So let us apply it. And this is my face powder. I'm avoiding the parts that I applied highlighter <laughs> as you can see I haven't touched here and even on this side because if I put the powder then I have to cover the highlighter which will have no reason of applying if I will cover it <laughs> so guys I finished applying the face powder on my face and this is the final look of our foundation. You can see the difference from when I started till now. The result is really good. My face looks so soft, flawless, and I look beautiful. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Guys, do you remember when I told you that if I am filming a video and my baby is awake, it is always a trouble. So look at this girl, guys, what she has done to herself. Look at her, look at her face. I want you to look at her. Sophie, my ciao. Guys, look, she has been like touching my makeup, applying it on her face. Oh my God. But I'm going to wash her face right away. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you how things looks like when I am filming and she's awake. Bye, <laughs> Tutti. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. So this is what she has been up to. <laughs> so guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something out of this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends, family, everyone that you think is going to enjoy this video. Comment below what you think I'd like to know. What do you think about this foundation application from the beginning of the video till now as we have our final results? I would like to know really, guys. Also, watch my other videos too. Subscribe to this channel. Help me grow this family, please, by subscribing. You know what? I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao.